Hi there, it's Kathleen Packett back for number day 99 of the Internet Lifestyle Network video challenge. And we are one day from the finish line of this challenge. Today, what are you feeding your mind? days here in Maine get shorter and colder and today in particular it was snowing it makes you want to curl up with a book you know a lot of the time the rest of the year I love audio just because I can be more on the go and have my earbuds in and, and keep moving and but this time of year it's like oh I just want to curl up in a chair read and feed the mind more and one of the good things about um, books and audio is audio you get to hear how somebody's speaking and you pick up on the tonality the, what the author is saying in a different way when you're reading your it's, it's another whole experience because then your mind is is going off on tangents as to what it feels that the reader is saying and, and messages that hit you at home particularly not that it doesn't do that on audio also, but um, it gives you a chance to reflect because you, you kind of stop, you pause, you, you ponder what the author has said, and sometimes you even go back and reread the paragraph again. Um, and there's many different ways that I love reading a book. I love, you know, really scanning through it all at once at first just to see what it is so that my mind, my um, subconscious can pick up what maybe the points are of that book and then when I do read it those can really settle in and and I get you know it's like seeing an extra value out of that book and because each time that you go back once you've read a good book and you've got a lot of value out of it when you go back and and read it again because it's not something that you're going to probably read just once especially if it's a book that you're really feeding your mind with is you go back and what you're ready for that next lesson will then pop out and you'll be like, wow, I didn't, didn't see that in there at all the first time around. So books are just an invaluable asset to your skill level and your growth and where you're going to go, especially as an entrepreneur. Uh, it can make the difference in whether you succeed and how fast you go up the level of success because you're using those everybody that has written those books becomes a mentor to you that that you have a great reading list and you know exercise that value that for just a few dollars that you know somebody has taken perhaps years to accumulate that knowledge and for just a few dollars they're sharing it with you and the immense value that you can uh, receive from that. If you have any great books, comment below. I'd love to, to know what you're reading and what you're getting from those. And if you got value from this, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace and success. Make it a great day. Come back tomorrow for day 100 of the Internet Lifestyle Network video challenge. Thank you.